Greetings. So you know who I am, of course, and you can probably guess what car this is off of. This is off that Blue 82 four-speed EXP I'm restoring. This is the hatch. Um, and what I wanted to do today was talk to all of you about an interesting trick to fix a problem that EXPs commonly have and other uh, old cars for that matter. Uh, really any car really that has a, a thicker deadbolt uh, for these and just lock them too. So this is your normal 82 hatch hinge from the, the inside of the car. Uh, so as it comes down there's a pin in here that nicks uh, both these two arms uh, and they lock them a little bit but if you slam the trunk down uh, fully correctly uh, a thick pin would go up all the way in there. If yours does not, um, what you should do is uh, first try lubricating that. Uh, what works brilliantly for that, uh, pick up tailgate hinges, everything else is uh, garage door lube. So garage door track lubricant works exceptionally well for things like uh, door latches and whatnot. So, but that might not fix your issue. Probably what you got going on is your striker bolt um, lost its nylon component. So if your striker bolt is bare, as in it's just all metal, there's not a striker nylon nub in here or anything else, um, your door ain't going to close um, because those latches are awfully thick or I'm sorry they're awfully big around so what they need to, uh, to properly latch is something thick and the issue with these is that there's always a, a metal washer on the, on the end of this here but you can't replace that when you uh, when you turn this thing out, loosen it up, pull it out, uh, this washer stays there. It will not come out. It's been pressed in uh, either before or after they did the threads, and there's no way you're going to get it out without ruining your striker bolt. And you don't need to replace the whole thing. You could. I don't know where to find them, though, because I believe all three corners of the car or, uh, the striker bolt is different than the striker bolt, bolt for the doors. But these are awfully difficult to find and you need the right one for it to work. Uh, so what you do is, when there's no nylon thing here anymore, uh, you replace it with your own. You see I put my own, uh, I think it's nylon of some sort. What this is is like a, a sort of pex. It's like a blue pecs for water lines, uh, liquid lines, and I think this one came, uh, is like for a semi truck or something. Um, but anyway, it comes in long, long tubes, uh, usually coiled up. Well, they come in lawn sections coiled up, and what you need to do is cut off a section that's about this long. So you have something to hold on to, because what happens is um, you need to bore out the center. Otherwise, there's no way that's going to wrap around. Because PEX is extremely hard. Um, so I think you can see what size this is, maybe. I have no idea. But anyways, you need to cut the slot in it here. So you can work it around the metal pin, the metal striker pin, and you obviously won't be able to get it on without having that, uh, that slice through it. Um, I used a Dremel tool to cut straight through that work perfectly, uh, but you probably still want like a normal drill bit to drill in through the center of it this way. So then it's bigger around so it fits for this well 
because if you don't borrow out the center, one, you might not be able to get it to fit. Two, um, this may end up being too wide, so why that uh, very much won't close. But that's about all you need to do to fix it. And then a little side note, if you have one of these switches and your lights are always on because this thinks that the hatch is open, all you need to do is take this inner piece and spin it. It's just plastic. Uh, so usually they wear out like this at an angle like that because of the way the door closes down into it. So it wears out like that. So you just take it, you spin the inner piece. Don't do it too many times. You'll, you'll wear stuff out, but you can do that um, once every couple of years or whatever. And you shouldn't have any problems with it whatsoever beyond that. So there's a couple little interesting fixes for you and like I said that fix will work on your um, door striker stems too and it's it, it's not unsafe it's perfectly fine um, but it's a real cheap alternative to buying new ones of these and even if you can even find these it's a really good alternative to getting a whole new striker bolt. So there you are. You, if you can do that, you'll you'll save yourself probably five some bucks per striker, and these are fully replaceable. Even when you do that, fully serviceable. So if you wanted to, you could put a blob of grease on there, and it'll lubricate your uh, your hinge knuckles every single time. And you can take that off if you need to to replace it whenever you want, because when you get a roll, you know. Um, you can see I only used uh, just shy of an inch of piping for that one times three. So three inches will do your entire car. And I, I used it for a whole summer and I haven't had any issues with it yet. Um, so if you had a, a foot, a foot of that stuff, you'd be set for a long time. If you have uh, like 10 feet of that stuff, you'll you're set for life. You'll never have to replace these striker pins ever unless you somehow break it off or you bring an idiot over and he's, he gets your door stuck so you need to break it. I don't know. But simple fix. Saves you time. Saves you money. Saves headaches. So, yeah. Enjoy your new striker bolts.